So if you go to the properties of uh, acids, uh, when acid reacts with the base to form salt and water, uh, energy is lost and the reaction we call it as exothermic reaction. And exothermic reaction is a part of uh, neutralization reaction. So now when you go for indicator, indicator what do you mean by indicator? If you go for indicator, indicators these are the substances indicators are the substances which are used to know end point end point of a reaction which are used to know the end point of reaction what do you mean by end point of reaction the stage stage in chemical reaction chemical reaction the stage in the chemical reaction where the stage in chemical reaction where you find that there is a color change there is a color change what do you exactly mean by color change here actually here because the acid is HCl is a strong acid it's a strong acid and uh, base NaOH is a strong base so for strong acid and strong base we can use any indicator so if you go for indicator actually indicator if you take these indicators actually gives also gives the information about when you say color change it gives the information about completeness 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 of of reaction so phenophthalene if you take example of indicator is phenophthalene example of indicator is phenophthalene phenophthalene is given by the general formula general formula of phenophthalene is HPH this phenophthalene in the unionized in unionized form is colorless but the same phenophthalene in ionized form in the ionized form it changes to it gives it acquires new color that is pink color so that means phenophthalene always changes phenophthalene always it changes from colorless to pink color this is colorless and this is pink color so this is the behavior of the phenophthalene indicator so if you go for uh, uh, so therefore we can come to one conclusion that uh, uh, phenophthalene it is a synthetic synthetic weakly acidic organic indicator then if you go for natural indicators natural indicators are also called olfactory indicators they change their color they change the, the change the change occurs in order change occurs in order the change occurs in order during a chemical reaction chemical reaction example you can take naturally occurring that is
naturally occurring indicators if you take naturally occurring indicators if you take that is if you take lemon lemon if you take it contains citric acid if you take uh, apple it is malic malic acid malic acid if you take uh, vinegar vinegar acetic acid acetic acid vinegar if you take it is acetic acid if you take tamarind tamarind if you take it contains that is tartaric it contains tartaric acid one thing what you have to understand is if you go for the properties of acids if you want to add few more points about the properties of acids it is very interesting that you know very well that the concept of digestion of food digestion of food stomach releases in the digestion of food stomach it releases releases small amount of small amount of release a small amount of acid it releases small amount of acid but uh, as long as the stomach if it is releasing small amount of acid then that acid will not this small amount of acid is always harm, harmless small amount of acid is always harmless but when uh, small amount of acid that acid is nothing but hcl but when uh, excess amount of excess of hcl is released 